the first seven months was really rough getting through it. For patients such as Mike Lawhorn, being able to get cancer care in his own community means the world to him. The convenience, closer to home, and I love all the people here. They're been taking care of me. The team here serving patients cut the ribbon on this new comprehensive cancer center today. It brings state-of-the-art radiation therapy and other treatment options here, as well as more preventive services to help find cancer early, which saves lives. In addition, there'll be a focus on personalized medicine with genetic counselors available, nurse navigators to help kind of patients understand the treatment and navigate the system. Dr. Matthew Kotlove says many of our more rural areas in the tri-state have been underserved. I know my patients, even some of whom I treat in Kentucky, have been asking when this is going to be opening because they live here. His hope is that this building is a symbol of not just improved access to patients who need care. Cancer care is something that's best delivered locally. But a symbol that there are providers in your own neighborhood who want to grow as the need grows in the community. Our hope is to expand some of the subspecialty services, including surgeries, um, surgical services that they may be able to see patients here. Now this cancer center will be right next to the new St. Elizabeth Dearborn Hospital. That is expected to open in 2027. We do have a link if you'd like more information about the care here. It's inside the digital version of this story at whatshappeninginhealth.com. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.